It's Spacey Sims, and we are back with more Nekopata. And I, I wanted to start off by saying, okay, so like, I was totally wrong in the first part. I was reading some of the reviews after and ever, and like a lot of people were like, it's really short. There's not a lot of romance. And I was like, wait. So like, I don't know what the hell I was reading when people were saying there's inappropriate scenes. It must have been for something else. But I don't. Or, or I must have been reading this and something else like around the same time and I got them confused. Or maybe someone was thinking that because there are maybe inappropriate scenes in the, you know, cat girl versions that maybe they were just inferring there would be. I don't know. So anyway, that's wrong. There's no inappropriate scenes. So I'm sure somebody watched that part had already played the game and went, no, there's not. But like, I haven't posted the first part yet. So, you know, anyway. But yeah, no, there's not. So I was like, okay, mm wait a minute. But yeah. And it sounds like it's just funny because a lot of the reviews are like, it's a really good introductory thing. And it's like, but maybe, and maybe that's exactly what it is. Maybe they're kind of putting it out there like, it's like, here's a demo. We're going to play it. It's like a whole game. It's freebies. But it's almost like a demo, and then maybe if it does well, they'll actually make a full-fledged game and we'll get more. I don't know. But it sounds like there's nothing inappropriate, which, you know, that's probably a good thing. But I'm just saying, if this were a cat-girl game, oh, there'd be, like, titties flying everywhere is all I'm saying. So, like, hi. Ladies deserve smut, too. But I want to be able to toggle it off because I can't play those games on YouTube, nor do I want to read all those scenes and have to listen to some of the sound effects, is all I'm saying. In Fashioning Little Miss Lonesome, the sound effects were kind of like, oh my god, why? No. <laughs> like, I'm just saying. Anyway, um, but yeah, so there's none of that going on. It doesn't sound like it's super romancy either. But there's also, I think other people mentioned, there's no choices aside from which one you choose. So I don't know. Maybe they're just throwing this out there as like, okay, we just did a quick little static visual novel thing because we teased you with, uh, you know, April Fool's thing. And then everybody really wanted it. And so we put this out, which not complaining at all. But it would be nice if this kind of does well, like the reviews are good. And, you know, a lot of people download it and play it that they kind of see that, that there is a market and then maybe... You will get an actual game. Because, again, I don't know how the other ones go when they're cat girls if you actually get choices. Because someone else did in a review after I played the first part I looked and was like, they said the same thing I did. Like, uh, the sprites get really blurry when you zoom, when they get close to you, which is weird. Um, and the, I don't know if it was the same person or someone else, was like, yeah, it's a little odd that there's no dialogue for the main character. She just nods and shakes her head and it's weird. And I agree, it's fucking weird. Like, you know, I think it would have taken twice as long to play the game. I mean, it's going to take twice as long to play the game because we talked through it. But if it was like, oh, she had like inner monologue st stuff because you'd have to write that in. And then that would be, instead of being like, wow, I felt really awkward about the fact that he licked my face, blah, blah, blah. And it would be several lines of that as opposed to, what? You Licking your face is weird? But at the same time, so I get it. It takes less writing to write it to, to the way they did so they save time and effort especially because it's going to be a free game but i do hope if they like beef it up that they like add some lines for the mc and like maybe some choices and i, I mean obviously that would be I, I would pay for this shit this is like if this is like hey we just threw it out there to see how it goes and maybe we'll create more later cool or oh, maybe we'll beef it up and release a full longer kind of game. Okay. Or even a DLC. Well, now we have a DLC that's got, you can go into the routes and you could actually spend time with them and there's more romance and stuff into it. Okay, fine. But also at that point, could you make it so the MC isn't just shaking her head yes or no and they're not being like, what? What did you say? You want to do this? Like, I understand when like TV shows and stuff do that. There's always, there's a million episodes on, of TV shows where you've seen them do that, where like, the camera is supposed to be, I think Scrubs did an episode like this too. Like the camera is, you know, the person and the people are talking to you. What was that? 
oh, oh, you want to know where the bathroom is? Oh, it's right down the And it's like, it's supposed to be like, oh, it's giving you, you're that person. You're, it's their perspective and you're them. And, but it's like, yeah, but it's weird. And I guess it like works kind of with a TV show. But I don't really work in a game because you're like, I can already self-insert. You know, I mean, maybe it's nicer for people who don't normally self-insert. And this makes you feel away, but doesn't it make you feel weird when they're like, what did you say? Oh, yes, I will get you a cup of coffee. You're like, can I just ask for the cup of coffee? Can I just have words? Can I speak? Do, am I mute? Am I signing to you? Is that what it is? I'm doing sign language and you're, oh, what did you say? Is that what you said? Okay. Like, I just feel like I'm a mute person and I'm not allowed to talk. It's weird. I don't know. That's just my nitpicking is it's not my preferred way of playing the game. I understand why they did it, though. Absolutely. but. It's still weird. <laughs> okay, anyway. So let's jump on in 10 minutes later. This is how we do things here, okay? If you don't like it, peace the fuck out, okay? I got time for that. <sighs> Phew! I made it in time! God, I gotta get my voice up to do him. Oh, whoops, I clicked the wrong button. Whoops. Yeah. In fact, we're in such a rush that we actually have loads of time to spare. Okay, their vests are like brown stripes, but I'm just saying Fennel still wears a striped fucking vest and suit. Yep, we open in ten, but it's not even eight. Oh, at ten, but it's not even eight yet. Who are we gonna take in it easy? On the contrary. Oh my god, you look so hot in your waiter outfit too. You're just beautiful every which way. God, I love you. That's almost the Sims hair with ears. This is what they should have given us—the one with the cat ears, not the weird giant bushy whatever the fuck we got. This is what we should have gotten. This sleek but messy look. I'm just saying. If you play The Sims 4, you know exactly what fucking hair I'm talking about. You're like that. Yeah. You're like, this is what it should have been. Not what we got. Anyway. And there's much to do before opening. Setting up the register, checking the dishware, running through the stock of ingredients and drinks, and giving the interior a thorough inspection for cleanliness. And most importantly, planning the day's promotional activities. No matter how well we prepare everything else, we cannot expect to welcome any customers if we slack off on the promotion. Okay, it just wasn't clicking, so I was like, can't you click anywhere? I just like seeing the cat paw, it's so cute. Is everyone on board with that? Hmm. We've already delivered flyers around the neighborhood. You say you've reached out to the cafe's regular customers, and you're working on a website. Uh, please allow me to take a look. Fennel, what should the rest of us do until opening time? Hmm, could you please do a hygiene check, and also make sure we have enough drinks and ingredients in stock for the day? <laughs> on it! I see. So you forgot to check the silverware. What's that? There's still some unopened boxes. Well, now that means we're not quite ready to open. Even if it's not something we need right away, we should still check the contents. Could I ask you to do that, Sage? Sure thing, leave it to me. Now that just leaves Laurier without a task. What are you doing, Laurier? Setting up the cash register. I've made it so the receipts have the cafe's name printed on them, too. What's this? There's a cat symbol above the cafe name. We in Hustle Cat now, bitch. Oh my god, this is like Cafe Enchanté and Hustle Cat just jammed together. But instead of it being a cafe where everyone turned... Spoiler? Okay, but like, okay. It's a cat cafe. Let's just leave it at that. But, like, instead of being a cat cafe, this is a cat boy cafe. And instead of being, like, you know, otherworldly visitors, they're cat boys. It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> they literally just went, um, what if we took Hustle Cat and Cafe Enchanté and just kind of put them together, sort of? Magical cat boy things. Yeah, okay. I mean... There's a lot of other games like Dandelion and Hatful Boyfriend and all those things where you're dating animals, basically. We've only played Hatful Boyfriend. We've not played the other pet games. Dandelion's a stat raiser, so like, uh, uh, I hate shit like that, but... But we do have some other ones. I think I have way too many. It looks like I have a fetish. I don't, because I find it kind of awkward. But I have them for us to play. We've just never done it. Anyway, here you go. Cat boys, this is the closest we're getting so far. We're, we're slowly dipping our toes into the weird waters, okay? 
I'm not complaining. I'm. This is my house cat right here. And since we have cat boys working here, we'd be passing up a great opportunity if we don't use that to our advantage. It's not unusual to see Catboy staff member these days. Still, it may attract some people if we advertise that we're working here. An excellent idea. I've also set it up so that it'll automatically apply the discount when you put items together. It'll save us the hassle of having to calculate the discounts manually. What's wrong? Cat got your tongue. My apologies. I was under the impression that you weren't interested in anything other than catnapping, but as it turns out, you're actually very talented. Oh, I don't know about that. I did work pretty hard, though. What treat do you have in store for me, mistress? You haven't worked enough to deserve a war you haven't worked enough to deserve a reward just yet. And now that I'm aware of your skills, there are several tasks I'd like to assign you to. Firstly, Ugh. He could do anything if he put his mind to it. The fly in the ointment is his feline fickleness. Hmm? Oh, yes. You were going to show me the website. Hmm. The layout is clean and easy to navigate. However, I think it's lacking photos of the interior. It'd be a waste not to show off the cafe's wonderful retro charm. The design agency? Hmm, I see. I'll contact them and discuss the cost of their revisions. Yes? You want to include a photo of us, too. Oh, are you shy, baby? It's okay, pretty kitty. <laughs> I just want to pet him so much right now. <laughs> it's okay, baby. It'll be fine. You're beautiful. Pets his head. Just want to make him purr. Oh my god, this game. This isn't appropriate. Okay. We're no better than the boys who play cat girl games. I can't help it. You just didn't know it was a fetish that you had until now, did you? You're like, I... I want cat boys to be real. Wait. Is this... I didn't know this was a thing that I had. I mean, I knew it was a thing, but I didn't know it was a, th a, th a thing for me. I didn't know. Okay, I just... You learn something about yourself every day when you play Atome games. Anyway. I think that's a good idea. We'll have to see what the others think of it, though. Let's ask them now. Sleeping. Wake up, Laurier. Sleeping. He's not twitching a whisker. He doesn't have whiskers, though. His ears are twitching. Sorry, but could you please try to wake him? That's right. Be gentle. Pushes him off the counter. Yeah. Is it opening time already? Not yet. Our mistress has suggested that we take a group photo and upload it to the cafe website. Yeah. Sure, why not? Okay, so will you go ask Dylan Sage? Thank you. Phew! Oh, clean! Hmm? Ah, oh, what's up? Yeah, I just finished sweeping. I was head to about to head back inside. A group photo? Oh, that sounds like fun. I'm definitely in. Oh, hang on a sec. I wrote the opening times and specials on the sign, and I put up a little doodle, too. Um, what do you think? I'm good at drawing? <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> I can't do his voice, it hurts. <laughs> I think calling me a pro is going a bit far. Okay, I gotta ask Sage to take a look, too. Oh, Sage! He was in the kitchen going through the ingredients and drink stocks. Or I think he should still be there. He lifts those cardboard boxes with one hand like it's nothing, and uses the other to pull stuff out. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh my god, he's got like an actual, like thing wrapped around his ear. That's so cute. Must be nice to be that strong. I'm envious. Huh? You're jealous of my art skills. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry. Don't let me keep you. See you later. All right. That should be everything. Oh, hey, it's you. What's up? You finish your stuff? Hmm. A photo of us for the website. Uh, sure, I'm game. If everyone else is in, then let's do it. Yeah, that's right. You said there were some unopened boxes, so I've been going through them all. The mugs, glasses, and plates we'll be using most of, most often are in the middle shelf in this cabinet. The pots and pans are on the bottom shelf, and I put the stuff we probably won't be using as much on the top shelf. Good job. <laughs> you don't need to thank me. I told you to leave the manual labor to me, remember? 
I'm dragging boxes of ingredients to the kitchen can't be much fun for you. So just give me a call whenever you need something moved. I'm happy to help. He's adorable. Atta girl. Hmm? You don't like me patting your head? Hmm. So you don't dislike it, but it's not the kind of thing you do to a human? <laughs> You're absolutely right. Makes it hard to tell which of us is the human and which is the cat. I'm sorry, but I like head pads, girl. How about if I do this? Think you can reach my head now? He's kind of blushing. Yeah, that's nice. Sage, what are you... Whoa! What on earth are you yelling about, Dill? Oh, my. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, my. Like, we walked into something inappropriate. I'm just petting his head. Hmm. I didn't expect you to go behind our backs like this, Sage. What do you mean? Oh, I get it. He all wanted to pet you, too. Not bad. You look like you'd find it more than just not bad. Huh? Me? Um, okay then. Just a little. Oh, that feels so nice. Fennel is embarrassed, but I want to pet him so bad. Come on, Fennel. Let her pet you, too. It feels so good. No, thank you. I will pass. Then every cat boy loves a good head pet. You're no exception, right? Oh my god, he's that cat. Oh my god. You know, every other cat is like, pet me, pet me, get attention, butthead buddy, you and all this shit. And that cat, you're like, I want to pet him. And he's like, no, I don't want you to pet me. And he just walks away while seriously looking back like, I really do want you to pet me, but I need to, pr I have my pride. <laughs> Later, you just sneak up and you're like, I'm going to pet you anyway. And he's like, what? I guess. I love it. He wants you to think he doesn't want it, but he totally wants it. That sounds wildly inappropriate, but you know what I mean. Head pets. See? She wants to do it too. Come on, just let her. Dill, I said no. Th Shh, it's fine. Oh, my precious. <laughs> See, you're totally enjoying it. As a cat boy, it is simply in my nature. Anyway, we were supposed to be taking a photo, weren't we? I shall get into position. <laughs> he felt so awkward that he ran away. Fennel's actually a real sweetie, isn't he? Okay, should we follow? Hmm, where should we all stand? Sage is the tallest, so maybe he should go in the back. Indeed. Laurier is the second tallest, so we can go next to Sage. And Dill and I will be in the front. Hmm, like this? Hip, Sage! Whoops, my bad. You're just in the perfect petting position. The cats do that too. They like pet each other and like, let me lick your ear. Ah! There's gonna be a cat boy pile! <laughs> to calm this game. Oh, it's giving me a thing that I didn't know I had. There's so much wrong with it, but it's... It, I'm saying there's so much wrong with this because I just haven't accepted that I love this so much. I, I've accepted that I love it. It's okay. You're totally developing a bald spot, Fennel. What? I can't click. <laughs> Please don't joke about things like that, Laurier. It's not funny. I almost lost one of my lives. And don't be mad. Anger makes your hair fall out, don't you know? You are the one saying things to make me angry. <laughs> oh, hey. She's waiting for us to be ready. Hi, you being a nice bird now, not a jerk? Good boy. Oh, there's... And that's our photo, but it's a CG and it counts, doesn't it? It's seriously the... I'm pretty sure this was the art. I think this was... I mean, obviously, this is the banner photo and the thumbnail photo and like the opening page photo and like everything but I think this was the teaser photo like they did this and it was like April Fool's not happening and you're like bitch you better make it happen <laughs> bitch made it happen I'm just saying okay everyone smile say cheese did it turn out okay yeah it looks good to me check it out guys yeah it looks great I think all our personalities shine through Hmm, very good. Everyone's in focus. I'll send this to the design agency and ask them to turn it into a header. Yeah, 
Yeah, if we're all done here, I'm gonna catnap until opening time. We open at 10, so we got half an hour. Oh, I got an idea. Hey, why don't we have our mistress pretend to be a customer so we can practice? Hmm, none of us have had a customer service job before, so that would be beneficial. They know about running a cafe, but they don't know running, about running a cafe, and they don't know how to be in customer service. Weird. Why did they send them to us? Whatever. Oh, wake up, Laurier. You need to practice, too. Or you need to participate, too. Sorry. Yeah. If I'm not allowed to rest now, I'm going to need plenty of treats later on to make up for it. I'll give you a treat. What? I'm going to pet his head. Nice kitty pets. Just, come on. Maybe a dingo ball. You like dingo balls, don't you, Bugger Bird? Yeah, the birdies like dingo balls. Kids like dingo balls. Everybody likes dingo balls. So, who's going first? I will! I mean, it was my idea. Okay, and take it away, Dill. Okay! His voice hurts me so bad. Hmm, should we start from you entering the cafe? Yep, let's do this! Welcome! I'll show you to your table. Please have a seat here. Here's our menu. You can press this button when you're ready to order. Oh, the restroom? Yeah, that would be... Um, it's... Uh, over there? Please enjoy your meal. Uh... Huh. Why well, are you sighing? I thought you did pretty well. When she asked me where the restroom was, I couldn't answer right away. I realized that I haven't taken a good look around the whole cafe. If I do that with a real customer, they'll totally realize I'm a newbie. So I was sighing because I basically failed. A failure is a stepping stone to success. You can use what you learned next time. Besides, it wasn't a complete disaster. I didn't notice any problems with the way you address the customer. My apologies. If I'm being completely honest, I'm a little worried you might act overly familiar with them. <laughs> I get it. I know I'm pretty casual with everyone, so I can see why you'd think that. Oh, would you guys prefer I be more formal with you? It doesn't bother me. Keep doing what you do. I think it'd creep me out if you were. So long as you are aware there is a time and place for it, I have no problem with how you currently speak. Thanks, guys. No, oh, the customer's calling for me. Be right back. May I take your order? Oh, the chef's special? Let me go check with the kitchen. I'll be just a moment. Fennel, what's the chef's special pasta? The chef's special? Oh, I didn't notice it on the menu. That was my oversight. Hmm. We have a lot of spinach, so let's do creamy spinach and bacon pasta. Other customers will probably ask the same thing, so make sure you all note it down and memorize it. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry for the wait. So you'd like the chef's special pasta and a tea for after your meal? Yes, today it's creamy spinach and bacon pasta. That's fine for you? Okay, your food will be out shortly. Phew! You're doing really well for your first day, Dill. <laughs> I gotta take a page from your book, man. Okay, Sage, it's your turn. Yes, sir, leave it to me. The financial side of things is equally as important as serving customers, so let's work on that. First, I'll teach you the basics of how to use the register. Now, she just ordered the chef's special in a tea. The chef's special is 1,000 yen, and the tea is 500 yen. So we enter 1,500 yen. Oh my god, we gotta do math! Boop, boop. And then we press the subtotal button, and it displays the total amount. Please check to make sure the price is correct. Huh? It's showing 1,200 yen. Yes, that's because of the discount. Laurier has set it up so that when someone purchases a drink with their meal, it automatically applies a 300 yen discount. Laurier did that? Whoa, that's amazing. It's easy enough if you read the instructions. Nah, I don't think I could do it even if I followed them to the letter. <laughs> You're a really smart cookie, Laurier. He may be lazy, but he's actually rather talented. The flattery will get you nowhere. Oh, he's blushing. That's cute. Huh? Why are you coming over here? What's with the hand? Oh, 
Oh, you're giving me a treat for my hard work. Hmm, it's hit by the ears. Aww. I love the fact that we can just pet our cat boys and it's not weird. I mean, it's a little weird, but I mean, it's not weird. You know what I mean? You know, just walk up, you're like, scratch, 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 scratch. And they're like, I love it. They're not like, the fuck are you touching me for? You know what I mean? If you just walked up, up to a random person and was like, good job. And you gave them a pet on the head. They'd be like, the fuck? But you do it to a cat boy. And they're like, ah, yeah. Ah, yes, yes. Ah, you know? I don't know. I just, I think everyone should own a cat boy. Anyway. No, oh, do me, do me. Save it for later. Nothing's going to happen like that in this, but like whatever. <laughs> I wonder if they actually meow and purr. Oh my god. Uh, Panel is like wildly inappropriate. <laughs> Can we get another pet too? Um, there's no need. Let's continue. Once you have calculated the subtotal, enter the amount you receive from the customer. Let's say it's exactly 1,200 yen. Once you have entered it, press the cash button. After a moment, it will produce a receipt, which you then hand over to the customer. And there was no change this time, but if there is, the cash drawer will pop open, and then you hand over the indicated amount to the customer. All right, I got it. <sighs> That's what I like to hear. Now let's put it into practice. Our mistress can play the part of the customer again. Please bring your bill to the register. So, one chef's special and a tea. And that'll be 1,200 yen. Sage, you will give a better impression if you add a please or if you please at the end. Customers can be surprisingly picky about these things, especially when it comes to this cafe. We're following in the footsteps of our mistress's grandfather, so I'm sure people will be expecting top-notch service. <laughs> that'll be 1,200 yen, please. 1,200 yen, if you please. Mm, I feel more comfortable just using please on its own. That's absolutely fine. Remember to say thank you when they hand you the money, and when you're giving change, make sure to state the amount you're giving them. It's best to give the notes first, followed by the coins. Uh, there's so much to remember. I feel like I'm going to get it all jumbled up. Right now, making an effort is what's going... Oh, right now, making an effort is what's going to impress the customers most. So if you're finding it difficult, just do your best. However, our mistress here is the manager. As the face of the cafe, she must endeavor to always put her best foot forward. That's what I like to hear. Now we have five minutes until opening time. Let's stop practicing and start preparing to greet our customers. I wonder what kind of people will come today. I'm so excited. Watch, no one shows up. Yeah, we're going to get... We're always going to remember our very first customer. So let's give them a real warm welcome. I don't know if they'll be able to handle a f oh I don't know if they'll be able to handle a full on catboy welcome. Of course we want to welcome them, but please don't overdo it. Uh, do you think anyone's gonna come? Do ya? <laughs> I'm so nervous that I can't sit still. I gotta move around to loosen some of this tension. Excuse me. No running inside the store. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm? It's time, guys! Heck yeah! I suppose I'll have to pull out all the stops. Remember to smile, everyone. Kinu on? But it's the exact same, like, CG. You can't tell me that's the only one they're gonna have in this game. Come on. Everyone, welcome to Cafe Kinu! Kinu on? Kinu on? Kinu on? Something like that. Oh, and this is where we choose a route. Okay, so like, I would say it was probably only an hour for the intro because it took us an hour and a half, but we talked a lot through it and we did, you know, whatever. But um, I think, like I said, I think I kind of want to rotate back and forth. Fennel is definitely my last because he's my favorite. But I think, I think we'll start with Dill because his voice hurts me. He is my least favorite. It, there's nothing wrong with him. It's just he's the lolly boy. And you know me. I'm not particularly a fan of the adorable lolly boys because they just look 12 and I'm too fucking old for that shit. I don't care if he's 45 years old. He looks 12 and it's weird to me. I'm just, I don't know. You know what I mean? You're like, you're adorable. You're so cute. Grandma wants to pinch your cheeks. But 
So we're going to go with dill. Kind of, I hate to say to get him out of the way, but just because, you know. And then we'll decide after that what we want to do. We might get through his whole route in this part, because I said it only takes like 20 minutes, but, you know, whatever. I'll show you to your... Oh! Um, sorry for shouting. It's just, I saw that outfit in a magazine the other day. You did? I read it too. The moment I saw you, I got all hyped because I recognized the new clothes. And that magazine has so many trendy outfits in it. Flipping through it is so much fun. Hmm, Loria and I will work in the kitchen. Dill, Sage, and the Mistress can handle the front. Yeah, we got this. You can leave any sandwich orders to me. That's your specialty, isn't it? Well, then I'll be counting on you if such orders arise. Let's wait over there for the customers to arrive. Would you like tea with your sandwich selection? Thank you. Your food will be ready shortly. <laughs> you're doing great with the customer service, Dill. Hmm, you're not sure you can do it as well as him? A practice makes perfect. Even if you do mess up, failure's just a stepping stone on the path to success. Oh, here comes another customer. Yeah, go for it. I'm, like, here to meet someone. Dude, dating guy gets lines. I'm the MC. I don't even get lines. But dating guy gets lines. Uh-huh. Yeah, that lady in the pink. Um, I'll take an iced coffee. Oh, an iced coffee, Fennel. There you go. From where I'm standing, it looked like that went well. So your customer's here to meet with that lady? Something seems kind of off between them. Yeah, the woman does seem a little tense. Maybe because he's late? Mm, I don't think that's all there is to it. What are you spreading on that bread, Laurier? <laughs> what the fuck? My special sauce of mustard and black vinegar with a dash of hot sauce. You can't use that. <sighs> I'll make the sandwich. Please take care of the drink for me. Mustard and black vinegar? I heard something about hot sauce, too. Mustard, black vinegar, and hot sauce? What's black vinegar? Red wine vinegar is fucking amazing, but, like, hot sauce. For someone who doesn't like spicy shit, why is he putting hot sauce on a sandwich? I'm gonna go check on the kitchen. You wanna see what's going on, too? Uh, okay, off you go. Hey, Fennel, is the order ready? Yes, I've just finished. Okay, you didn't put any weird spreads in there, did you? Have no fear. I remade the whole thing. It looks tasty. I'll take it out to the customer now. Laurier, is the iced coffee ready? Yeah. You didn't add anything extra, did you? I just used the coffee maker. All right, please take this. Yeah, please take this to the customer too. Sorry for the wait. Thanks. Could I interest you in any of our meals? Uh, I'd recommend our... Oh, I'd recommend our spicy curry rice to go with the iced coffee. Uh, sure, I'll take that. Thank you. We also carry paper bibs in case you're worried about your clothes. Of course, I'll bring two. I don't need one. Huh? How did you know I only just bought these clothes? Yeah, since this is the date, I figured I should dress up a bit. You too? You bought a whole new outfit for today? Thanks, you look great. Tee hee. Aw, he just made a love match between them. What a good kitty. Glad to see they're getting along. <laughs> Looks like I was right. Um, do you know I said I didn't think the woman was tense just because the guy was late? I figured she felt awkward that she'd ordered food, but he hadn't. And also that he hadn't said anything about her outfit. Hmm? You think I can play... You think I pay careful attention to people? <laughs> I don't think you should be learning from me when I'm still in training myself. Yeah, you're right. We can support each other as we go. Welcome. I'll show you to your seat. You'll greet the next customer? Okay, I can... Can I leave it to you? Good luck. <sighs> um, are you okay? Yes. I was going up front. Now that the lunchtime rush is over, it's a lot quieter. What should you do? Hmm. Uh, please stack the dirty dishes in the sink. Thank you. Wait a moment. Actually, you should both take your lunch break. Huh? But you seem exhausted, Fennel, so I think you should go first. 
Uh, don't worry about me. I'll take my break when you get back. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah, okay then. We'll take you up on that. Come on! <laughs> Delicious beauty baker! I'm just reading the signs. I love it. Delicious. That sounds delicious. I think we should go there. Where do you want to eat? There's Japanese food, Western Chinese, basically anything you can want, so just let me know. Huh? I seem kind of down. Why would you think that? <laughs> I guess my tail gave me away. Remember the first customer I served? Yeah, I kind of wish I'd done things differently. Even though I gave perfect customer service and even helped him with his date? I appreciate you saying that, but what he said to me made me realize my service was less than perfect. Oh, no, he didn't complain or anything. It's just when he was paying the bill, he said to me that it had been like chatting with an old friend. I guess because when he came in, I treated him like a friend rather than a customer. First impressions really count, you know. I've realized that i got to be more careful. Actually, I was like that with you too, wasn't I? Even though I'm the trainee and you're my boss, I've been acting like we're equals. I kind of regret it now. No, that's actually nice. It's like chatting with an old friend. I feel comfortable here. So from now on, I... Yeah. What's up? Oh, you don't mind how I acted around you? And you'd actually dislike it if I was all formal and stuff? When we first met, I was friendlier to you, and, and that really put you at ease? So you were super happy when I said we should do our best together? You felt like we could be friends? For realsies? Um, actually... I thought the exact same thing. But like I said, you're my boss, so I figured we probably couldn't be friends. And I held off on saying anything. Yeah, I do want to be friends with you. Okay, then from now on, we're friends. And if we're friends, it's totally normal to hold hands like this. Oh, oh but it's probably best not to be too clingy around the cafe or at home. Everyone wants to be close to you, so I'd feel bad if they thought I was going behind their backs. Plus, it wouldn't be good to be too friendly with each other in the workplace, right? See, okay, let me just tell you something, game developers. If you f make a full version of this game, I want the man harem route. Just, just, you get to the end of a route. Oh, that's cute. And then you go back and you pick the next character and you go to the end. And then at the very end, that's when it unlocks. You've now actually technically been dating all of them. And then you have the combined ending. The after story is the all of it. They're all our house cats. Our cat boy house cats. And we get to keep them all. I want the man harem ending. Fuck you. This game better give it to me. All I'm saying. <laughs> Look, they're all like, pet me. Pick me. I want to be your house cat. I like curling up in your lap. Oh. Uh -huh. I mean... I, We play Atome games and the boys don't throw our, themselves at us. This all, one usually does. But all of them? I'm just saying. This is the perfect... They are asking for the man harem. We need to give it to them. Make them happy. Anyway. So let's save holding hands and other friend stuff for when it's just us. Friend stuff. There's air quotes around that. Pinky promise. Oh, look, that restaurant's been featured in a bunch of top ten lists recently. It's a weekday and after lunchtime, so there's no line. Yep, this is our chance. Shall we have lunch there? Their almorice is supposed to be amazing. I can't wait to try it. The end. I'm like... <laughs> Weird. Oh, ho, you're back. We sure are. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> you two sure seem to be getting along. Getting along? Oops. We're still holding hands. Now we're back at the cafe. We gotta return. Cafe? What the hell was that? Now we're back at the cafe. We gotta return to being employer and employee. I'll go tell Fennel we're back. Hmm? You wanna help me with the cleaning? Appreciate it. Could you hand me that dustpan? So, what'd you guys have for lunch today? Almorize, huh? You say it was fluffy, runny, and delicious? That does sound good. I wonder what I should get. It was at a super popular restaurant, and you can get in without a wait right now? Maybe we should all head there, too. Great work, Sage. Uh, thanks. You look like you've been working ten times harder than me, though. I am perfectly fine. You don't look perfectly fine, sweetie. You wouldn't let me make a single dish. Of course not. From here on out, you're in charge of the drinks, Laurier. Please do not attempt to cook. 
Sheesh. Don't give me the stink eye. I get it. Whoops. <clears throat> that was my stomach. I guess it was a sound effect. I didn't hear it. It's past lunchtime, so it's only natural that you would be hungry. There aren't many customers at the moment, so I think the mistress and Dill should be able to cover us for a short while. However, if you find that things are picking up, please give me a call. Okay, we'll leave the cafe in your capable hands. Calls him immediately. Ah, I don't know how to make a sandwich! Welcome. Oh, you're here super early today. Er, yeah. You're here on your own this time? Actually, she's waiting for me by the station. Um, I just wanted to come by and thank you personally. The thanks to you, our day went really well. Really grateful. Oh no, I didn't even do anything. That's not true. I'm kind of dense, so I had no idea what she was annoyed about. But when you recommended that meal, I suddenly realized what the deal was. Same with the clothes. You really have a keen eye, man. It made me realize I should pay more attention, too, so I can notice stuff before she has to tell me. Sorry to dump all this on you. Uh, I'll come back with her again soon. Please do. Tea. Oh, you saw all that. Yep, he came in just to thank me. I didn't do it for praise in the first place, but it still makes me smile. When my customers are happy, it inspires me to work even harder. You think maybe that's the real job that keeps people motivated in customer service jobs? The real joy. That makes more sense. I was like, the real job? The real joy that keeps people motivated in customer service jobs. Yeah, makes sense. I love making people happy, so maybe this is the perfect job for me. I don't know, being a house cat seems like a great job. Hey, you two. Only an hour to close in time, so let the customers know they gotta pay any, put in any last orders. Okay. Okay! Thank you very much. Please come again. Phew, good work. <laughs> you look relieved. If we keep going like this, I think we can keep your grandpa's cafe going. Nah, we worked hard today, but so did you. You were running around like crazy serving customers and helping in the kitchen. Actually, your hair looks a bit like a bird's nest. Oh, I know. Come by my room before you take a bath tonight. I'll fix your hair right up. Should I do it after? Oh, it's you. Why are you standing around looking all nervous? You're waiting for Dill? Ah, so you're going to take a bath together? Whoa there, you dropped your towel. I don't think it got dirty, but if you're worried, I can go wash it. <laughs> A simple no would have been fine. Hmm, so you're not going in together, you're just waiting for him? <laughs> I like how he's like, you're taking a bath together? He says it so casually, like it's totally normal. I'm here! Oh, hi Sage! Yo, is that a comb you got there? And... A hair mask. Now first we're gonna brush your hair with this rubber brush. How's that? Am I hurting you? Okie dokie, I'll keep going. I like how she nods yes, but she means no. It's a bit tangled, so I gotta be gentle. It's like we don't know how to brush our own hair. I mean, look, I'm not saying that, like... Someone brushing your hair is always nice, but it is weird. He's like, wow, your hair's a rat's nest. Do you not know how to brush? We're a mess. How are we running this cafe? We don't know how to, like, take care of ourselves. I mean, I understand what the, like, here's a hair mask and this, and this will help. Like, I don't know a lot of stuff about that, but I do know how to brush my own hair. But it sounds like she's, like, can't even smooth your hair down. He's like, your hair's a fucking mess. So she's like, I'm just not going to bother brushing it when I get home. I'm going to wait for him to do it. I see. Con level 100. Got it. Done. Ooh, we sparkle now, bitch. I like it. Oh, I was like, oh, we're just waiting for it to continue. Nope. It's just going to sparkle like that for an hour. Tee! Nice and silky already, isn't it? You can use this brush to massage the shampoo in, too. Yep, it can be used as a shampoo brush. I'll apply the hair mask after you had your bath. I told you I'd fix your hair up. Plus, I enjoy hair care and stuff. Yep, go ahead and take a bath. Take your time and relax. Welcome back! Was the bath warm enough? <laughs> Just right, was it? No, stop. Rubbing it with the towel like that will damage your hair. Sit down right here. Aw, look, we get a little CG. If you pat the ends of your hair like this, it's much gentler. Like this. <laughs> Probably feels weird because you're not usually this gentle with it. 
You usually just rub it with a towel and then use a blow dryer? <laughs> this little calico kind of tail is so cute. I see. That damages the hair, so you should dry it this way instead, even if it takes longer. And then the other side. Pat, pat. Now we're going to use this repairing hair mask. It's so... Okay, he's super cute in the CG, though. Props for the CGs, because they're adorable. Hmm. It's best to do it every day after your bath, if possible. But if not, then once every three days is good. <laughs> Smells good. Oh, no, that was Sage. I thought... He, uh, Sage is magically here. Smells good. I was like, wait a minute. That wasn't dill. And we don't have lines. Hey, it's a floral scent, but I picked one that's not too intense. Now I'm going to smooth it over your head. And then brush it through with the rubber brush. Go on, give your hair a feel. Yep, silky smooth, right? When your hair feels like this, you just want to keep running your fingers through it, don't you? Oh my god, our hair is purple. Awesome. I'm sure it's supposed to be, we're supposed to have black hair, but it's just the way it's colored, you know what I mean? But. And lastly, we're going to blow dry. Too hot? Okay, this is a good distance. <laughs> Silky smooth. To finish things off, we put on the cool setting. And you're done. I love the cool setting on hair dryers. I just have a tiny mini blow dryer. It's like a perfect travel size, and it only does like fast or slow. It's like <sighs> barely anything or like slightly more than nothing. Because I'm just... It's been years. I just... I really need to spend the money and get a hair dryer again. Like a real one. Because sometimes when you're... Even when you're doing your hair on warm, you're like, it's too hot. And you put it on the cool setting, you're like, yes! I love the cold setting. God, it feels so good. Oh! It really is silky. Yeah, it doesn't feel like your hair. If you treat it every day, you'll always have smooth hair like this. And you won't wake up with bedhead. <laughs> You're a real expert when it comes to hair care, Dill. I wouldn't say that. I just pick up stuff from the magazines I read. Oh, yeah. You were reading one while she was in the bath, weren't you? Yep. It's part of my daily routine. By the way, there's some stuff about hair care in that magazine on the table. <laughs> you look interested. You can have it. You don't need to be polite. Besides, I have two copies, so you're more than welcome to have one. Um, I kind of bought two for the free gifts. Yep, go ahead and take it. He'll be doing me a solid, too. Hmm, you smell good. <laughs> Come on, Sage, you're making her uncomfort. <laughs> Meow! It does smell good. Mm Sorry. He's still sniffing us. <laughs> still sniffing. Sage! And now, and he was blushing, too. Huh? Whoa, my bad. <laughs> um, okay, who's taking a bath next? Fennel said he'd go last since he got study since he's got studying to do. Yeah, okay, then you go ahead. Oh, hang on. I should ask Laurier too. I'll swing by his room. Huh? He's in your room? Huh. So he's claimed your bed is his own and won't go back to his own room. Oh, yeah, I remember him sleeping in your room on the very first night. When us cat boys find a snuggly spot, it makes us feel comfy, too. I guess that means Laurier feels the comfiest when he's curled up next to you. Hmm. If I crawled into your bed, too, I think it'd be a tight squeeze. And this is why you need a California king, bitches. Everyone's always like, a king-size bed is huge. Why do you need, like, an even bigger? Why do you need one of those huge beds? Um, because I got a lot of cat boys snuggling with me, okay? We need the room. Gonna be a tight otherwise. I'm in the same boat as Laurier. Same. I feel comfiest when I'm next to you. I bet Fennel feels the same way too. Don't you think it'd be ideal if we all became house cats together? See, they want the man harem ending. They're literally just being like, you want it, don't you? Yes, I do! I've been asking for it since day one of playing Atome games. Like, when do I get to keep all my fucking men's? When do I get the fucking harem? And these games are tempting me. They're like, dangling the man harem in front of me, and then they're like, no, bitch, it's just almost like a demo. It's not a demo, but it ain't the full thing, and you don't get it to imagine. But that's just where I feel like in spirit this game goes, is the man harem. And if you took us all in, it'd be more of a burden for you. Hmm, not if y'all worked at the cafe. 
You want to get everything on track with the cafe so you can adopt all of us? <laughs> it's wonderful that you're still being such an optimist. I love us. We do want that. She knows what we want. You actually want to spend even more time with us at home and at work? <laughs> I see, I see. You're practically purring over there, Dill. Well, it sounds to me like being with us is making her like us even more. I'm getting to like you too. Uh, wait. I'm getting to like you so much too. Same here. Oh, what's up? You're gonna let get Laurier? I'll come too. Um, cause I think he might leap on you and hug you super hard. You took a bath, right? You washed Laurier's scent away, so I want to mark you again. Cat boys have this habit of adding their scent to things to show what's theirs. We call it marking. That's kind of what we're doing. What we were doing earlier, actually. You were super duper nervous when we all pressed when we pressed all close to you and started sniffing your hair. It's on our nature as cat boys, but I'm so sorry. Sorry. Phew! I'm glad you forgive us. I'm just saying. Every once in a while, if you're standing there and then like your cat boyfriend <laughs> or whatever I, just comes up and like rubs against you, you're like, "What are you doing, marking my territory?" This is weird, but okay. Like I don't know. I kind of find that funny. I'm just picturing you're just like making a sandwich in the kitchen, and your boyfriend just comes up, and just nudges you with his head, uh, rubs against you. What are you doing? Just marking my territory. What? Rubbing on you? <laughs> you're like. It's fucking weird, but okay. It's kind of charming and endearing, and I want someone that's a little that the little fucking weird like that. Cause it's something I would be like, I would do the same thing. Be like, room nuzzle, what are you doing? I'm marking my territory, bitch. <laughs> cat girl's got a cat, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> It'd be me if I was doing it. Like, I just It's funny and it's kinda like if you're in the right relationship, that person doing that, you're like, you're a weirdo and I love you. I just need a weirdo in my life. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> anyway. You want me to come with you? You sure? Thanks. Okay, let's head to your room and... You have a question first? Sure, shoot. Why did I mark you today, but not after you took a bath on the first night? Hmm. Well, we'd only just arrived here, and I was still kind of shy around you. But now that I'm more comfortable, my feline nature is coming through. I bet Fennel's gonna mark you soon, too. Oh, hi. Sounds really inappropriate. <laughs> yeah, it might be hard to imagine, but he is a cat boy, and we can't fight our nature. When he sees you fresh out of the bath, he'll come nuzzle up to you without even thinking about it. <laughs> What's with the grumpy face, Sourpuss? Well, thinking about it's making me a little jealous. I can... I can nuzzle up against you, too? Yay! Dill sure knows how to get his way. If we all became her house cats, I bet she'll demand the mo I'll bet he'll demand the most attention from her. Yeah, I'm coming in. Laurier, are you sleeping? Just push him on the floor. Yep. He's asleep. I don't want to wake him, so we'll swing by again after the rest of us have bathed. Hmm? Oh, this is I knew I recognized it. It's the magazine I showed you the other day. Hmm. So you bought yourself a copy too? Was there an article that caught your eye? The makeup feature? All the different tutorials are helpful, but when you try it yourself, it never comes out looking like in the magazine? Speaking of makeup, didn't I promise to teach you some tricks? Yep, I play around with makeup a lot, so I'm pretty good at it. He's so much better at being a girl than we are, which is just really sad. Not saying that you have to be good at makeup to be a girl, but like, usually those are, like, we can't brush our hair. We can't, like, we can't run a cap. What are, what are, we're useless. We don't even speak. We're pretty fucking useless. We are basically just a cat scratching post at this point. Well, I mean, I get, okay, fine. Hey, do you have any plans for our next day off? And then I'll teach you some makeup tricks. <laughs> no need to look so impressed. You can totally change the vibe if you, you give off, depending on how you do your makeup. <laughs> I can't wait to see how we're going to transform you. Can I come in? It's me! No fucking way, really? Oh, this? It's my trusty makeup kit. Yeah, you can tell they're just kind of rushing through it. Because it's like, oh, the next day off, we should do makeup. It's all of a sudden the next day off. And it's just a transition. And they cut out a lot. They just... They rushed it. But it's fine because we, we still have the game. But I'm just saying, it would be nice if they 
put stuff in the pat and made it longer, actually gave you choices, gave you lines, and they like this was like this kind of the demo. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad you think it's cute. Okay, sit yourself down. Do we get another CG though? I'd be okay with that. Let's see. We got the foundation brush, blush brush, eyeliner brush. Hmm? Yep, there are different brushes for different things. This big one's for foundation. This one's for blush. This one for blush is a little thinner. And this one for eyeliner is really short and thin. Huh? You only have one brush that you use for everything? Hmm, yeah. Using different kinds gets you different results, so I think it's best to have an assortment of brushes. If you're not sure what kind to buy, I can help you. Actually, I have a few old ones I've been thinking of replacing. Let's do it. Okay, makeup time. Okay, it's basically the same CG, but he's got makeup brushes in his hand. All right. Look. I appreciate that we got some CGs, but like game, that's a little cheap. That you're going to give us a second CG and you can't make it different. It's the same one you just... Let's draw makeup brushes in his hand and it's different. It's not different. It's the same fucking CG. It's just a different version of it. I'm a little... I'm a little miffed about that. It would have been like, oh, a couple different CGs? Okay, I don't expect a, like a ton of them. But if you're going to give us two, give us two different ones. Not basically the same. <laughs> this might tickle a bit, but bear with me. Pat around the eyes here. Swirl over the cheeks there. We'll use this color for the eyeshadow and a matching lip. <laughs> All that tickles? I look like I'm enjoying myself. Yep, it's fun doing your makeup. You're cute enough to start with, and I'm going to work my magic to make you even cuter. Yeah, you'll mess it up if you move around like that. Nah, it's my fault for saying something that made you jump. But you are really cute. Oh, but you really are cute. That's what he said. Hey, you don't have to deny it so forcefully. Okay, I won't say it again. I'm going to continue, okay? And done. Glitter. <laughs> I'm surprised too. Yep, you look a lot more mature. I went with a pinkish gray for the eyeshadow and a pinky beige for the lips. It's classy looking, but the pink tones make it cute too, am I right? Huh? Why the long face? <laughs> Don't worry. Your current outfit totally goes with it. But I think if you put on something that matches the look even better... It'll be even more stunning. You're not supposed to match your makeup to your outfit, but like, that's fun. They always tell you that. Ma make your makeup, like, match your skin tone and your complexion and everything, but not your outfit. But like, it's kind of more fun. Like, no one's complexion goes with like neon blue fucking eyeshadow. Okay, no one's. But sometimes it's fun to wear neon blue eyeshadow. And like, if you're wearing like a certain outfit, you know, if you're wearing like a lot of pink, you're not going to do neon blue eyeshadow. You're going to pink with it like i mean i match my makeup to my outfit too unless i'm wearing all neutrals but i match my makeup to my outfit i don't give a fuck if you're quote unquote not supposed to do it fuck you and your rules those are outdated rules anyway because i'm pretty sure now it's like do whatever the fuck you want there really are no rules do whatever the fuck you want <sighs> so let's go shopping okay so they said the routes only take like 20 minutes and it's been like 30 since we started. I didn't talk too, too much during his route, so I was figuring we'd be able to get through it. I don't think we'll be able to. It might only be a few more minutes, but I'm not sure. And I don't want it to be like, oh crap, it's 30 minutes past. If it was like another two or three minutes, it'd be different. And this might be the last scene and maybe it's only it could take five minutes. I don't know, but I'm going to stop. And then it will definitely finish his probably in the next part. Because I doubt it's going to be an hour. If people are like, it takes about 20 minutes to read. It's been 30. So it'll probably take at least another 5 to 10 minutes for his route. Estimating, right? Um, I do think some people sometimes are like, click, click. They're like, hmm, you heading out? You doing this? You doing that? And they just click through it so fast. But like, even if you're listening to the voice acting, it takes them longer to say, you two heading out, than it does you... Because Japanese is 700 words to say. <laughs> I love Japanese, don't get me wrong. But it is, sometimes you're like, you literally just said what? And it was 14 words. Like, sometimes the sentences are longer. Sometimes they're not. But 
You know? So I'm like, you must be skipping through, like, speed reading. Because, like, it never... Even the t how long to beat everything. It's always like, it takes, like, 10 hours. And you're like, it took 30. It always takes me twice as long. And I actually can speed read. But doing this, we interject, and reading out loud does take longer than reading in your head, to be honest. But anyway. Um, <laughs> I noticed the cat, but I didn't realize he was standing by a coffee mug. That's so cute. Um, yeah, so we'll probably finish his in the next part, and then we'll start someone else's. I would say we're probably going to have at least two more parts, because I doubt we'll be able to get through all of the routes in the next. We'll probably f finish Dill. Start someone else's and then maybe be able to finish theirs and maybe get the very beginning of a third. And then we'll finish something. Else. That's what I would guess, but we'll see. So anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.